Okay, I got a quick challenge for all the YouTubers out there watching this that own an AK variant of some sort. And that challenge is to get out there at the shooting range and actually shoot this like a rifle. Don't bump fire it. Don't shoot at 10 yard targets. Don't spray rounds all over the place. Get out there at least once. Make sure the rifle sighted in, battle sight zero. And then after that, shoot. It, the distance is kind of irrelevant. If you only want to shoot 25 meters because the range is short, uh, do so 50 yards, 100 yards. It doesn't matter. But get out there and shoot and treat this like a rifle and not a bullet hose. Too often people get out there as soon as they buy an AK. For some reason, when they get behind an AK rifle like this, their fundamentals go to crap and they just start throwing rounds everywhere, bump firing it, do whatever. And I can't say there's really nothing necessarily wrong with that because, you know what, it's their rifle, their money, their ammunition, and this is land of the free, home of the brave. They're free to do whatever they want with it. But they don't have an appreciation of what the rifle can really do. One of the favorite lines I hear all the time is, oh, the AK is a poor hunting rifle. You wouldn't be able to hit crap past 100 yards. Yeah, that's bullshit. I could smack a deer at 300 yards with this thing. And I think I've already proven that. You've seen my shooting at 700 yards with this. I can still hit a 12 by 18 inch target at 700 yards with this rifle, albeit it's not going to be the most consistent. Can't do it every single time. But with iron sights, I am pretty damn consistent with this thing. A lot of people would say, 700 yards, you're crazy. Well, I already got the video to prove it. But uh, rifles like this have a lot of utilitarian uses. People think, oh, it's just a military rifle, it's a peasant's rifle, which, by the way, that is a myth, that is not true. In fact, when the AK design came out a long time ago, it was considered uh, high-tech cutting edge. Not so much anymore, but... The AK is almost like the 1911. It's just persevering. And you can see it's still being used all over the world today. And there's a reason for that. It's not because of just the good reliability that the rifle enjoys. Because of the rifle was just reliable but was, wasn't accurate. You know, having a, re a reliable rifle that can't shoot worth a damn is worthless. Like my 1917 Enfield right now. Uh, I haven't ordered the barrel for it yet, but I'm going to. It's a very reliable rifle. The bolt action on that thing is so smooth, butter-like. It's so reliable, but you know what? The barrel is shot out. Can't shoot worth the shit. So the rifle right now is useless. In fact, if uh, the Twinkie zombie apocalypse happened right now, I'd probably, I wouldn't even touch that rifle. I wouldn't even take it with me. I'd leave it behind because it's pretty much useless. But the whole point of this whole thing, I don't want to ramble on too long is get out there with your AK and actually shoot it. Zero it, shoot it, take your time, slow fire, pay attention to the fundamentals, adjust those sights like they're supposed to be. If you don't have a sight adjustment tool, get one. It's amazing how many AK owners do not own a front sight adjustment tool. They don't even know how to adjust the front sights. So get out there, if you don't have a front sight adjustment tool or run from TAPCO, it's like less than 20 bucks. They're real inexpensive. Get one from TAPCO and, um, or any other brand that you may choose. Get out there, sight it in, and shoot for groups. You will be surprised at how well this rifle does when you actually get behind it. And if you're worried about people looking at you funny because you're trying to shoot an AK accurately, don't worry about it. Use me as an example. Last night, I went out onto the long-range firing line with this rifle. We went, I went to a long-range shooting event, and I brought this rifle and set it down. The closest target is sitting at 700 yards. That's the closest target. And don't get me wrong, the guys out there are pretty awesome. The long-range shooters out there are awesome folk. I love talking with them. But there was some puzzled looks. They're kind of looking at the thing going, what the heck is an AK doing out here? But you know what? They started smiling when they started seeing that, wow, this rifle is actually delivering the goods. It's throwing a little Russian-made Wolf and Tula brand ammunition downrange at 700 yards and hitting the target. So I encourage you guys, get out there and try it. You're not going to hurt anything. Worst case, I mean, if, if you find it boring, at the very least, at least you know your rifle is sighted incorrectly, and you at least know that, yes, it can shoot pretty accurately. And if anything, if you just if it was boring and it was a waste 
a waste of 40 or 60 rounds, whatever, then go ahead and go back to bump firing and shooting wildly and getting a bump fire stock or doing whatever. So I encourage you, I challenge you guys to try it. And at the same time, I challenge you guys to post a video of it. Uh, if you like to do videos on YouTube, go ahead and post a video of you shooting the rifle. You'll be probably surprised. I bet there'll be more people um, surprised than not surprised at what this rifle can do when they actually get behind it. So all right, that's enough rambling out of me. Again, give it a shot. If you already have videos of shooting AKs, feel free to post them as video responses. And thanks a lot for watching.